Ever wanted the most exclusive t-shirt in GTA Online? This is the Elite Challenge t-shirt, which is only available to those players who have completed all five of the Elite Challenges in the original heist. Widely regarded as the hardest to complete based on how little time you have to get them done, and only worn by the very best GTA players. In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through how to complete the first of the bunch, the Fleecer job. Excuse yourself right now! First of all, you need to buy yourself the closest apartment to the Armored Karuma pickup location by Lester's factory. What are you waiting for? Let's go see this place. Which is this one on Alta Street, costing $223,000, which you can purchase through the Dynasty 8 website. Ah, yes, yes, this will uh, do very nicely. You only need two players to complete this heist, but you can't afford to be carrying dead wood, as both players need to be at the top of their game. Ideally, you want one player to be a good driver, and one player to be cool under pressure for the hacking and drilling role. What I've got is a Fleesa Bank franchise. It's a two-man score, right? One of you drives, keeps the heat off of you. The other goes into the bank, goes to the specific safety deposit box. Then you get out of there, you get in that fast armored car, and you get the hell out of that place. Then once you're clean, once you got no heat on you, come see me, give me the box, and you get paid. Hmm? There are a couple of vehicles you can consider for this heist. You can take some fast bikes like the Hukuchu Drag or the Shotaro and take a little shortcut. But in my experience, this is rather unreliable and we usually end up looking something like this. Okay, here we go. I'm excited for you. I've got goosebumps up my arms and butterflies in my stomach and a light film of sweat on my upper lip. <laughs> you know where you left the car. At least I hope you do. You weren't drunk on painkillers, were you? No. No, that was me. <laughs> yeah, okay, get the car, then move on to the bank. Or even worse, something like this. I've got goosebumps up my arms and butterflies in my stomach and a light film of sweat on my upper lip. <laughs> you know where you left the car. At least I hope you do. My pick would be the Torridor as it had great handling and jet power. You want to both hop in and boost the weight. There is quite a bit of unpredictable traffic here, so be alert. Driving onto the curbs here will give you a little speed boost, but your main priority is just getting to the Karuma. Here we go. I'm excited for you. I've got goosebumps up my arms and butterflies in my stomach and a light on my upper lip. <laughs> boost into this wall or little alcove and hop into the Karuma. Before I show you the rest of the driving route, I'll talk you through the hacking. Driller, start hacking their network. You need to establish a connection before you get to the bank. The aim is to get from one location to the other while guiding this green line. It's important to stay calm here and not freak out too much, but like anything, practice makes perfect. There are three in total, each getting a little trickier than the previous one. You are usually allowed one mistake. One more than that and your time will be too slow and you'll fail the elite challenge. If that happens, simply fail the mission and press continue and start again. Once the hacking is complete, bring up your phone, click on the bottom right app and activate the vault door. Quickly press left on the D-pad to equip your mask and exit the vehicle. Get inside. Back with the driver and you want to hold both brake and handbrake around this corner and then hit these curbs on the right. Stay on the curb on this bridge as the road is bumpy here anyway and it will give you a much needed speed boost. Before you get to the bank, then you'll be able to trigger the vault door remotely. The idea here is to hit as many curbs as you can along this route, but traffic RNG is very unpredictable, so stay focused and grab them where you can. Once you walk through those doors, there's no turning back. Well, actually, there's no turning back right now because I've put a lot of work into this and I'll be really, really annoyed with you if you don't go through with it. You know, I'd probably refuse to speak to you for a week and then spread nasty rumors behind your back and maybe set up a life invader page about what a creep you are. You should be at full speed through all of this part until you reach this corner, just opposite the movie studios. Humiliation is worse than death, in a way. No, no, it's just not, is it? Uh, I should have made a death threat, like, yeah, at least a mutilation threat. Take the next right. Use your nose right. Use your ass for an ashtray. 
and through this gap, making sure you stick to the right so you don't crash into any oncoming vehicles. More opportunities for curb boost here, then fire straight across the middle of the freeway, hitting these islands for even more speed. It's then flat out until you reach the bank. Once the safe vault is hacked, keep spamming left on your D-pad to equip your mask. If you haven't already, get inside. When your partner has got out, reverse into the bank like this. Exit and take out the four cameras. PD, if you don't shut them down now. Oh. Oh. You can then just equip an RPG and hold it, which will keep your intimidation up. Meanwhile, the hacker, who is now the driller, needs to hold R2 and then ease up the left analog stick until the drill bites. Then just keep gently pushing the left stick forward. Pressing it too hard here will cause it to overheat and it's bye bye elite challenge. Stay patient as it does seem to take quite a while. Once your drilling is done, head back out and enter the car as soon as you see it. You got it! Get back to the car! I advise first person here as it's easier to navigate the tight corridors. Go, go, go! As soon as the driver hears the clunk clicking of the drill, he can put the RPG away. Stay in control. If they think you're weak, they might try something. Okay, I get it. Okay, okay. Stand right next to the car here and hold down the accelerator button. As soon as the driller is in, hit the vehicle entry button and you're away. Go, go, go! You didn't come this far to end up in the back of a squad car! The reason it is so fast here is because both doors are blocked, so the game will spawn you straight inside the vehicle. Be sure to let the driller in first, or else he will not be able to get into the car. It's full speed from now on, dodging police to the left here and getting a little curb boost. He's got a plan for the cops if you can just get there! and then through the gap between this bush and police car on the left, ease off the throttle a little here as there is a large bump in the road which can send you into the wall. Hit the back of this police car and power through. Hey, come in. This is your getaway guy. Then hopefully Eddie Toe has pulled his finger out of his ass and has the cargo bob in position by the time you arrive. If he doesn't, blow yourself up and start again. If his finger is not in his ass, brake hard and cruise underneath the giant magnet for a dramatic getaway. Show it to me. Ooh, yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, past. And if that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you in. In the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey! 
first time that wasn't bad, but don't get clingy. The time is extremely tight and every second counts. As you can see in this one, we only made it by 6 seconds. So practice these tips and you'll be well on your way to the elusive Elite Challenge t-shirt in no time. So if you found this video useful, please leave it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one. Wild, insane, mind-blowing orgies in your future. <laughs> orgies! <laughs> Good luck!